Chicago is on the brink of destiny, and the city is on the move. Chicago's people want change. Are you ready for change? What are you prepared to do to make that change? Is it Chicago's destiny to turn the tide of this war? Is this the Windy City's chance to blow out a blowhard of a president? As the city of big shoulders, we're going to carry the day for the anti-war movement. The winds of change in the Windy City stir the embers of protest and revolt, and a city breathlessly awaits a titanic confrontation between us and them. Chicago Independent Television presents the fourth annual Super Duper, Super Super Duper, Super 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 Duper Anti-War Spectacular! Brought to you by Spartan Condoms. Before you add to the population, we want to make sure you can feed them. And by the U.S. government. How are we doing? Contact us at www.whitehouse.gov. We want to hear from you. And by India. Looking for your old job? Look no more. We have it here. I'm your host, John Heron, and it's going to be a day full of excitement. We'll take you from the inner workings of the movement out into the streets and all the way to the march on Michigan Avenue on this, the fourth anniversary of the start of the Iraq War. We'll be right back. Tired of peace, prosperity, and a clean environment? Ready to lose millions of those bothersome jobs? Want to get your children out of the house and into Iraq? Too many freedoms and opportunities keeping you up at night? Think the rich just aren't rich enough? Then call for my free presidential misinfotapes now. These misinfotapes are guaranteed to get you off course and keep you divided. Call 2-800-BUSH-INDUSTRIES. We have an entire cabinet standing by to bankrupt your nation and serve every corporate interest. Call 2-800-BUSH-INDUSTRIES today. Welcome back to Chicago Independent Television's fourth annual Anti-War Spectacular. Brought to you by Stan Greenberg, protesting war since 1968. No more war! And now, back to our show. Four years of war and four years of anti-war marches in Chicago. And I've been to every one of them. This year, on the fourth anniversary of the Iraq War, over 5,000 people from all communities came together to march on Michigan Avenue in Chicago. Demonstrators demanded an immediate end to the war and occupation. I'm John Groot for Chicago Independent Television. So I took my little camera and I went downtown and this is what I got. We've covered the protests pretty much the same way for the last four years. This year, we decided to make a change and we will take you behind the scenes to show you how this was all put together. Over 100 organizations helped put on the demonstration and you really have to hand it to the March 20th Coalition for all the work they did. Wrangling permits from the city, promoting the march, raising funds, and creating all the printed materials needed for the event. The coalition also participated in a media skills share workshop hosted by Labor Beat and Hammerhard Media Works. The goal was to produce a short video flyer promoting the protest that could be put on YouTube and other websites, including Chicago Indie Media. Bring the troops home now. The legal march itself, itself a, a free, free speech, speech victory, four years in the making, steps off at 7.30 p.m. 7.30 p.m. from Walton and State, down Michigan Avenue. The police presence wasn't as visible as in years past, but that doesn't mean they weren't there. We sent our super secret indie media night vision camera out to look for their staging area. Look at all the cops. I mean, really, this is a peace march. What, are they going to war? What are they afraid of? We're protesting for peace. How much tax money does this cost? This reminds me of 2003 and the mass arrests. So enough with my ranting. Let's now hear from some of the activists who participated on March 20th. I don't think 
like the Democrats being in charge is like going to solve it all. And there's still a lot of people that once they see how big it is and how many people are involved and want it stopped, I think it does have the possibility of changing some people's minds. President Bush is a, is really a war criminal. <laughs> he is a criminal because he wanted to take control of all the oil of the world. The war needs to end now, not tomorrow, now. Too many people are dying. Too many people are coming home maimed and crippled, just like Vietnam. This is Iraq Nam. The objectives and designs and ambitions of the U.S. imperialists have nothing to do with the interests of the vast majority of people, both in this country and throughout the world. We're looking at the world dynamics right now, and you've got this poll of Mick World and Mick Crusade over here, the U.S. imperialists on the one hand, and jihad, reactionary Islamic fundamentalism on the other. And that if you, if you get behind either one of those polls, you end up actually strengthening both, and that we actually need to bring forward another way that I think this is an important manifestation of what's happening. But we actually need to go forward and actually say, no, we're making our own alternative that's actually in our own interests. George Bush is the worst president I've ever seen over 40 years of activism. Uh, either party, and I would even add minor parties, because he has uh, no sense of morality. He doesn't believe in U.S. law, international law. Essentially, he's lawless. I think there's a part of him that might care for his family and those dear to him, but I don't think he really cares about this country or the people who live here, or the rest of the world. But the Democrats aren't any better. They're not doing anything uh, to bring about an end to the war. They're, they're, they're refusing to cut off funding. They're, they're not setting a deadline. And uh, the war will continue until the people mobilize to get it stopped. You're watching Chicago Independent Television. I see the soul of a nation. Must be true because I've seen it on TV. If elected, I'll lie about weapons of mass destruction as a pretext to invade another country. I'll call myself an environmentalist and gut clean air standards. Our allies will go from respecting us to hating us, and I don't care. I'll leave no child behind, unless they can't afford it. I promise to keep you in a state of fear and anxiety so you never question what we're doing. And if you do, we'll call you unpatriotic. Bring them on. Welcome back to Chicago Independent Television's fourth annual Anti-War Spectacular. Brought to you by Imperialism. Coming to a country near you. Before we return to our coverage, Let's look at some other activism in our city. Activists with the Occupation Project in an effort to protest members of the House and Senate have been showing up at congressional offices to demand an end to funding the Iraq War. In the first six weeks of the Occupation Project, in all there have been 159 arrests targeting 11 senators, 10 representatives, 12 Democrats, and 9 Republicans. We continue now with our coverage of the protests and events surrounding the fourth anniversary of the Iraq War. How many are there? There's about 20. 20 flags? And you guys made them, or? Yeah, last year, uh, Donna Carter and I and, uh, like, four other designers uh, were given fabric, and then the assignment to deconstruct and reconstruct the American flag, so. The Anti-Liberation Organization since 1964, and when they did have First, yes. Okay, just uh, head out. We'll, we'll follow you. We'll get into formation once we're in the street.
I'm Andy Thayer, and you're watching Chicago Independent Television. I see the soul of a nation. Kids across America are digging deep. President Bush's tax cuts mean big tax breaks for millionaires and billionaires. Paying for them won't be easy, but these kids are ready to do their part. In 2003 alone, George Bush put every child in America $7,400 into debt. To these children, we have one thing to say. Thanks, kids. Easily paid for by Billionaires for Bush.